Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to get the filter here I use in, like, most of my videos. So first, you're going to click on CapCut. And then you're going to click New Project. And you're going to click one you would um, like to upload. Then once you select your clip, add it and trim your clip. And wherever you like, zoom it on, zoom in on it if you would like, and trim it and split some clips. And then you can add an audio, but I won't. Um, and you can mute the clip if you want, but I didn't mute the clip. Then you're going to go click on adjust, and you're going to do the grain however you like. I usually don't use the grain, so I would put it at zero. But for the vintage it, I don't know how to say it, I, it kind of just changes the background color. So I would put it at 30. And then for fade, I kind of like fade. So I would put it at like, I would say 41. Then for who, I put it at negative 50. Because I put it at negative 50 because it just made it bright. And then for the temp, you want it to feel summery. I wanted it to feel summery, so I set it all the way up. And you can move it down to make it colder, so I wouldn't mind to be bright. And for the shadow, it kind of just, like, dims most of your body time. So then for highlight, you can highlight, like, your lights and stuff. Then sharpen brings the whole filter together. Pull that all the way to 100. And then for exposure, you can bring it all the way down to 50. But I'm going to put it at like a negative, like not even negative, like 3 or 0. But I didn't really like how it like said that. So I would go with, yeah. So contrast is going down to 18. I would put, I don't know why I didn't put it at 18. Um, I'm voiceovering this clip, by the way. But I put it at negative 14. And then you have your clip, and you can watch it. And um, I hope this helps a lot for you guys. And try the filter. Please give me credit. Bye.